What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We are going to be changing the game of smoke kebabs. So this right here, I call it the game changer because it is based off a of fly design concept. Uh, look at that articulate. This thing would be like tossing meat at a hungry group of guys. And let me tell you, it's delicious. But let's go ahead and get started with the recipe. First, I went to Costco and it happened to be that the Traeger guys were there. And so I picked up some pellets. You're going to need about a whole bag because it's winter here. And then look at these pork. Wow, these are delicious. This is my favorite place to get these. And so I'm just going to smoke up two at a time. And these seasoned tri-tip are just Almost the best thing in the world on Traeger. And don't let your wife know you're at Costco because you're going to end up getting some diapers as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and purchase all this. And we are going to start. It's about, you know, 11 o'clock on a, on a Saturday night. And I'm just prepping these like I would any other uh, a pork uh, for, for making a, a shredded pork sandwiches. This is going to be the head of the fly, and these uh, take the longest to cook, and so we're going to put these on the Traeger about midnight, and I'm just putting a nice uh, salt and pepper rub, and then here we go. Look at those things. They look delicious, and so let's go ahead and get our, uh, our grill fired up. I'm going to let these sit out to get a little bit of room temperature, and here's the grill. I'm doing a little time lapse here to show you. Um, it's got up to temperature, it ignited, and I'm going to set it for about 225 because it is a little bit frigid here. And we're going to let it sit overnight. I'm going to wake up a few times. I think I got up a bunch of times. So I'm a little tired. It's about 2 o'clock. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the uh, game changer parts. And I'm using this tri-tip one because I never used it for kebabs and I wanted to try it. I love just throwing this on the Traeger regardless. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice these so it's got a taper. Meaning it's going to be a thinner section here and go to wider. Because that's what the game changer fly is all about. And I'm going to make uh, two kebabs today. We're just trying them out uh, to see how I like it. And uh, we'll go ahead and just get this uh, meat sliced. You can go as thick or as thin as you want. Uh, I'm doing just about a, a, I don't know, inch by inch and a half to two inches at the, the biggest portion. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that remainder of that on the smoker with the, the pork here in a minute. And then I'm just going to divide this up just like I would thinking of an articulated um, game changer fly and then I'm going to be using this as the meat of the fly pretty ironic you know because it is meat and we're going to be using um, some peppers and some onions to create that uh, profile so the meat's going to be supporting the um, onions and the green peppers if you were thinking about this from a fly design standpoint I'm just going to trim a little fat off this and then we are set so let's go ahead and get our peppers ready and I'm just going to do the same thing, um, about a whole half a pepper per kebab. And I'm going to cut it in half at an angle so that we can uh, taper it as well to follow. It won't, we want them to be a little bit larger than the meat. Um, and the meat will shrink a little bit, but so will these uh, vegetables on the smoker. And for these, I know that uh, the, the full tri-tip over there, it takes about... Roughly at my elevation, three to three and a half hours. I usually smoke it on a lower setting for an hour or two and then crank it up to finish it off. I imagine these kebabs are going to be pretty quick. And so I'm going to give them, um, I'm allocating, we're going to have dinner around 5, 5.30. And so I'm thinking about having them on for about two hours at a low temperature. Just because me personally, I have to make sure my meat is um, medium well to well done. And I know a lot of people out there are going to not be happy about that. But that's that's my body and... I can't have it uh, cooked less than that or I get sick. So I'm just prepping all these ingredients just like you would in building a fly. I'm going to be uh, laying it out so that I'll just be able to be kind of what you'd call production tying. So this would be production kebabbing maybe. And for the tail, we're going to be using some of this nice bacon, this thick stuff. Um, I love smoking bacon on the, uh, the Traeger. And uh, we're going to form the tail here, just kind of fan it out, similar to what you do with the kind of a, a soft hackle feather. And I'm going to lay that out so uh, I get a good concept of where we're at. And, you know, I was going to use these for the fins, but I think I just needed it to be a little bit longer, anticipating for what it's going to shrink into. So I'll just grab another strip here, and we'll use two for the fin on this side. And I'm not doing the other side. I mean, this isn't going to be fish. This is just going to be eight. So, um now the process is let's go ahead and get this bacon all lined up and form our tail and we're going to just insert that uh, probe these uh, cables here i think i picked them up off amazon 
Uh, they're they're about 18 inches long, I think. Uh, it looks like they're going to be really, really awesome. I like that they're flexible. I also have some, um, I guess, non-flexible ones. I don't know why. I can't think of the name. But just, you know, the solid metal ones. Uh, this I was going for a game changer, so I picked this up just for this uh, to have a little bit of fun this uh, grilling Sunday. So um, we've got our tail here. I'm going to lay it out just like I would, you know, when you're tying that fly. Make sure it's uh, fanned out real nice. And then we're going to start with uh, our building up our body, starting with the smaller pieces of meat and vegetable. And, you know, I really like how that bacon acted as the tail. I can't believe I thought of that. So pretty cool. So I'm going to slide some meat on. Actually, no, let's uh, start with some vegetables because I got a lot more vegetables than I do have meat. And I loved having uh, grilled uh, peppers on the, uh, the Traeger. It's one of my favorite things. But I'm going to be curious to see how it uh, really helps this tri-tip with the onion and so what I'm going to do is just build my way up start with the smaller pieces and when I say smaller I mean narrower you know these are the three quarter inch sizes and then I'm going to work my way up to the two inches so I'm just going to follow a kebab recipe here and we're going to do onion uh, green pepper meat onion green pepper meat onion green pepper meat all the way up uh, this is one of my and this is just a regular yellow onion I forgot to mention that I think it just complements it really well. The only thing I'm adding on new here is the the seasoned tri-tip versus you know marinating and doing my own, and also the bacon. I, I've never had bacon on a kebab, um, so this is going to be kind of exciting to see how it turns out. But we've got this there, and that is the body of our fly. Um, the reason um, we're going to be finishing up the pork shoulder and, or pork butt, and then that will be the... Uh, the head of the fly and so I'm just going to go ahead and prep the other uh, kebab um, or game changer since that's what uh, we're, we're doing here and same process um, onion uh, green pepper meat onion green pepper meat onion green pepper meat and uh, my mom has a really killer recipe that um, I need to uh, this is reminding me I need to find because uh, she has this marinade that was amazing we had a lot of kebabs growing up so this is going to be a, a little bit of a memory down uh, memory lane or a fun time so there we go we've got our second kebab done so let's go ahead and just set these aside i'll show you right here check these out turned out really nice you can see we've got the front fin on there we also have uh, the the tail i'm using this just uh vented tray so it's about uh 245 and i'm going to throw them on you can see we got the porks in there we got the other tri-tip that's in there and we're gonna just, you know, put a little bit of this is just root beer to kind of sweeten up that bacon and sweeten up that onion. And uh, I put a little bit of just regular uh, seasoning on there. It's a kind of a special blend, but let's go ahead and check out our pork. This has been on since midnight and bam, it's been sitting for about 45 minutes and that looks delicious. So let's go ahead and just get this uh, broken up. It's still really hot. You gotta be careful. I am double gloved right now. But you got to be real careful of these juices, you know, burning you even through the double gloves. And I, I've tried the tongs. I've tried, you know, forks. But it just seems better to do in your hand. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, it's just pulling apart real nice. Let's see. That's a really good piece. And I'm getting hungry just uh, thinking about this for later. And I'm trying to set aside some longer pieces for the head of this uh, game changer we're making. But... No, let's. Uh, what I typically do is I get a bunch of these uh, piles, I shred them up, put them in the bowl, and then I mix the bowl later. Um, and that's pretty much, I don't know anybody that does it differently. So if you have any suggestions or comments of the way you do it, go ahead and you know leave a comment below. But let's uh, keep shredding here and we'll work our way through all of this. And these longer pieces I'm setting up, look at that. Good smoke ring, shredding really nice. That's a good piece right there. Not a lot of fat in that piece, but we'll mix in the fat later. You can see uh, towards the end, I just kind of mix it all in, and it uh, gets all the juices into that dry place or dry sections. And then it's this one actually wasn't very dry, and I don't usually add any seasoning or, or sauce at this point. I just kind of let it be. I let people decide at the table if they want to uh, add sauce or more seasoning. And I'll go ahead and set those larger pieces aside for our game changer uh, head. And then we will just uh, consume this later. Like I said, I got some family coming over. We're going to have some pulled pork sandwiches. So that was kind of the whole reason behind uh, what we're doing with the game changer. So 
Uh, these have been on about two and a half hours. Let's check them out. It turned out better than I anticipated using this uh, mesh uh, pan. Still a little hot. I need to be a little bit more careful, but let's check this out. That right there is a nice 13 inch game changer. Boom, look at that. It's got a nice pulled pork uh, the head on there. We've got the articulation. Look at how it wobbles. Look at that tail, turned out really nice. Got a little burn on the bacon, but that's to be expected because it was resting on the pan. Man, there we go, fish pose. So uh, this was a lot of fun to make. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. If you've watched this far, leave comments below if you have any suggestions on uh, you know, your pulled pork or any good recipes. This was delicious, so I recommend uh, trying it out and doing some kebabs on the Traeger.